The birds are singing because of the ting I am bringing. Welcome back to Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. Previously, we're still looking for terrain parts. Ah, uh, Bricky is keeping a tab. There's 11 of them. We only have three left. And these are the more trickier ones. Like, um, this guy over here. What is his name? I think this is Go. Hey, Go. Oh, wait, no, we found Go before. Yeah, this is Let's. We had to find Let's for Go. Oh, really? Do you now? I hope it's back to the train, right? Okay. Well, um, we should look around for this other train part. I feel like I'm going in completely the wrong direction. Oh, hey, it's you guys. You're not at the train yet. What's the deal? Explain to me what. Ah, oh, they're having a race. I will give the start signal because I'm the master of this race. I'm the aficionado. Or, yeah, the judge. That too. Oh, you mean with my telekinesis? I can do that. Uh, how is that going to judge the winner? That's kind of weird. Uh, okay. Sounds a little strange there at the end. But I'll go with anything right now. Just don't try to hurt Mr. Rossetti. He gets very upset. Are you ready for the races? Because they're gonna have some racing up in here. This is what I call part racing. Ready? Set? Go! I already said that! Oh, there they go. Well, let's go do something else with our time, then. Don't I have to touch, like, a train bumper or something like that? Eh. If you stay on the screen long enough, you can see them coming back. But then you have to do it over again, because we need to get to this train bumper in a hurry. It's the goal for the race! Everybody line up! Here they come! It looks like... Orange one! Uh, who's the orange one again? Orange one! Okay, I didn't have to remember their names after all. Sometimes it's a tie and they have to do it over again. Yeah, you lost. Now you both go to the train. Oh, you mean you and him back? Something tells me these guys are kind of like... A very important part. Because they're together. It's let's and go. We can't go anywhere without the go part, after all. We have to find the gas. And we have to find the burly and the lucky. So what else is left? I think we solved pretty much everything else around here, too. The blue bird is now has aroma water. Something about drawers. Uh, hi. And am I, am I t interrupting something? Why... Why do you got squirrels? What are you doing here? I don't like how they're jiggling. Ah! I'm feeling very uncomfortable about all this. What kind of train part is this? The game show part? It's the drawer quiz! Answer quickly! Oh, you're the checker part! Remember the checker that checks everything? Yeah, you would think that would be the chief part, but no. Oh, I always wanted to be on a game show. Alright, I'm ready. Bring it on! Ah, I think I read something about him. Oh, it was something really cliche, too. It was like, something obvious. I'm gonna answer in English if you don't mind. The guy's name was Al. Oh, really? Oh, he wanted the full name. Well, I'm a doofus. Oh! 
Oh, oh, I know this one. I know this one. This one's a spoil to me. And I promise I won't hit enter this time until I'm ready. His name was... Corn Boy. Uh, where's the space at? Uh, it's right over here. Yeah, there it is. That's how we do this properly. Yes, I got the Corn Boy. Thank you, Spoiler Hermit. His advice came in handy. Oh no, there's so many of them. How can I remember them all? I couldn't even remember Let's and Go. I think I know that one. I think I referred to that one before. His name is Burly. Ah. Even even with a mouse, I'm bad at typing things. There we go. Burly. Alright, I'm good at this. Except for that last that first question. Let's just forget that existed. It was actually supposed to be Al aboard. Okay, this one actually had two names, Far Away's Station and Far Away Station, but I'm thinking Far Away Station. Or maybe Far Away will work. I don't know, it's kind of picky. I'm just going to go with Station. Surely the translators thought of this. Okay, good. I have a feeling that Far Away would also work, but you guys try it. Ah, good. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the lead. Against nobody. Hmm, which one was that? That very aromatic bird. Well, I obsessed about that bird enough, I should know that it was a blue bird. Sadly, this is the last question, and there are more questions he did not ask. Like, um... What color was the flag above the garage? It's yellow. That the height of the tower is 14 heights. There's a sign with a slogan on it that says pay attention. The catchphrase of the pig, that's let's eat. And I think that's all of them. Did I win? Yes! I just squeaked by. Let's forget that I just mentioned Al. Now it's time for the final Zoom Zoom! The final stage! I'm gonna win that... Uh... 8 million rupees. You're giving me 8 million rupees if I get this right, right? That's a yes. Do you remember the serial number? Also, can your, uh... Can your squirrel cheerleaders stop gyrating at me? This is very, very distracting. Ah, it's seven, five, one... Squirrel gyration, I mean, VL... Ah, uh, ten... ninety-six? I got it right! Despite your cheerleaders gyrating at me. Good. Get back to the train. And, and you squirrels can, uh, I don't know, take a fiver or something? Because the, the show's over. This is a series finale. Also, he was sitting on something, too. I wonder if that's important for something. But we got the checker! We got everything! I, oh, where'd it go? Okay, that's weird. I could have sworn it was there. Maybe it was just all for show. But yeah, obviously those questions could be found by looking around the train station. Over the last two videos, I've been giving you hints. With the Al aboard, and the faraway station, and the 14 heights, and whatnot. And really looking at that serial code, like really grinding it into your brain. But we have all the parts now! There's absolutely nothing in our way. I'll just, I'll just leave that open for right now. We're, we're kind of in a hurry. I'll leave that open, too. Why the heck not? All right, um... All the parts are here, but they're not in their spots. Oh, so you're just a supervisor. You're not really the checker of anything. So what is your role, anyway? 
Yeah, everybody's in place. Uh, okay. So I have to put them in place, and the game doesn't really indicate this until you start talking to them. He wants to sit between two girls. Also, he, um... For some reason, there was a, like, really weird, um... You heard the text thing, right? It was going on for a little bit too long. Yeah, do you see that? I don't remember that being happening before. But she wants to be below Ring Ring. Where does Ring Ring want to be? He wants to be in the yellow row. Well, that's easy enough. Yellow row is up here. Let's put them there for right now. They're interchangeable later. The same column as Murray. Well, I need to find out where Murray wants to go then. He's going in the blue row. I'll put him right here. Something tells me there's several ways he can do this. Next to Pinko. Also, it's really weird that they're doing that whole text thing, unless I actually click ahead of time and make them jump. Above Miss Pinko. Nope. I saw some more parts to deal out here. Right edge of the blue row. That sounds very simple. There you go. So, where does, uh... Where does Go want to go? Where does Go want to himself? Same row as Let's. Well, uh... Murray's kind of taking up that spot, unless I put him right here. That works. The Let's and Go are together. Burley, where do you want to go? Right edge of the white row. Well, that's relatively simple. Yeah, you could go there. Something tells me this is not the way they were set up when... Oh, oh yeah, they were down here. That's that's why it doesn't sound right. All right where does Pinko want to go again? Directly above Go. Ah, that's the orange one. So right there. And blue one? Below Ring Ring. Oh, Ring Ring's in a wrong row then. Because all those spots are taken up. Oh, uh, no. I just have to move Ring Ring over a little bit. Uh, let's put him um, here. Oh. Okay, there's another problem. Ring Ring can't go there. Because I need to have Checker in between two ladies. And there's only two ladies in this entire engine. Okay, you could go below Ring Ring. Right here. Still, something still doesn't seem right. Directly above go. That's just, uh... I got this puzzle so good the last time. Edge of the white row next to Pinko. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That answers the question. Let's get Murray out of here. Let's just move him somewhere. He needs to go somewhere else. There we go. And... Same row as Let's. I'll move you over one. Because we need to make room for Checker. That's what happens if you don't click on it precisely. So this puzzle is kind of busy work trying to find out which ways the things go. Alright, let's get Checker in where he belongs. Front and center. Between two girls. That works. And above Miss Pinko. Right here. I guess uh, Murray's going to be hanging out next to Ring Ring. Same column as Murray. So we'll put Sam here. Everything in the right spot? You tell me. Uh, no! Oh, this isn't right. Hey! Give me a break! I'm doing this in like a video or something. Let's switch Sam and Murray. Yeah, this should be it. This should, should be how it works. I, I have a feeling that you do see them on all their spots be before they jump out of the engine. And you could just take a screenshot at that and it kind of like cheat. I did it! Yes! I didn't look at a guide or anything. I just kind of like brainstormed it as we were going along. I probably did a lot better the first time. But, you know, video. Everybody's in their custom place. Well, we're going to the city. We're going to be a city train. So 
The engine is finally up and running. It took us way too long. There seems to be something happening with the train. Why'd we all get out? It's going to explode, Lion. It's totally going to explode. It's going to explode into a tingle train. The Super Bachelor Express Tingliner. Wow, that thing looks awesome. Even though it looks like tingle. That is pretty cool. Why didn't they do this before? So, so this is what happens when you get train parts back in your train. It turns into something that looks like you. And a lot cooler. Alright, yeah. Good idea, Bariki. We need to check the inside of this thing. Oh, fancy! How did it get a lot bigger than last time? I, I think physics has some questions. It's more modern now, because of the power of Tingle. Alright, that sounds like a great idea. Oh look, a speaker system too! Oh. Yeah, I guess that would be right, but how are we going to get it out? So we need to move the train out of the garage. That's what that means, Kakashi. Yes, thank you for explaining to him. He's a little slow. So we can't drive the train just yet, but look all the awesome stuff we got going on here. Oh, let me just check out all the cool things. Alright, there's not many cool things. There's walls in the way. We'll check the cool things out later. I'm sure it has rockets or something. So, we got ourselves a train. Breaky, analyze. I'll say. What do you mean normal here? Well, we need to get this train out somehow. Yeah, now we got a brand new train! Something tells me engineering has some questions, too. Anyway, um, Lion, talk to the train! Wait, you don't speak train? What do I keep you around for? Alright, super strength. This train needs at least 100 force to get out of the garage. Oh, Mr. Rossetti is going to be so upset. Thanks, Lion. You did great. The Tingliner is ready to go! Okay, it's time to board the train properly. It's time to leave this dump. Luckily, we did everything else that we could do. We got ourselves all these fancy train parts. Yay, yellow tracks! Yeah, that's a great idea, Lion. What do you say about this, Bariki? <laughs> I say it's more than normal. I say it's excellent. Get up on the chair, Tingle. Ah. Okay, there we go. Tingliner? Activate! Form of a Tingle Train! Look at this, we got rockets and everything. This is the best train ever. We're going straight to the city with this thing. Right where the city doesn't want us to go. That makes me proud to be Tingle right now. Oh, wait, there's something wrong here. And it's Stink again! Something tells me he was behind this. Our train seems to have sprung a leak. Piona! How could you? No, I mean literally, how could you? You have hooves! And that's the end of another page. We have a Tingliner now! But sadly, there's something wrong with this Tingliner, thanks to Piona. Or as somebody called her, Pionya. Which sounds a little bit better. 
we got a train! I don't know how far it's gonna get us. We're gonna have to find, like, a train, boys, or something. Because we don't get very far. I mean, it's in working order. Maybe it's just, uh... Maybe it was just, like, uh, hydration or, like, you know, moisture or something. Because this train looks like it's running quite properly, and what is Bariki doing? Bariki, that's really unsafe! Are, are you sure about this? I think she has magnet boots. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I, I'm remembering the song from the original Mother game now. Seeing this train go down the tracks. Everything looks fine, which means we are well on our way. Absolutely nothing can go wrong. I said absolutely nothing can go wrong. Something went wrong. Lion's busy puking. Oh, great. The train broke already. And we also broke our lion. He's gonna leak something in a few moments, too. Oh, good. He kept it in. Yeah, we have to use it, lion. You're just gonna have to... I don't know, we'll just find you some... what the hell was it? That... that... car sick stuff. We'll find some of that, for cats. Maybe. Actually, no. I, no, I don't think so. I think we're gonna be stopping not at the city. Freaky, what's going on out there? <laughs> yeah, at least we got some momentum behind us. How far is it gonna take us? Probably right to the scene of the crash. <laughs> Alright, I'll check if the train parts are getting all goofy. Hey, train parts, you are you behaving in here? Gas, this is all your fault. Damn it! Why did we put you over there? Maybe we should have Checker check things. We've been leaking fuel. Well, at least he lives up to his name of gas. It was literally your only job that you could ever do. Because your name is Gas. You're fired. Uh, uh, Murray, you're now in charge of Gas. Vegetable Village is up ahead. Well, I guess they could have fuel. Like, uh, biofuel, ethanol, corn gas. Oh man, we could have got some corn gas off of Peter. Drat. Well, we're gonna have to activate the brakes. Uh, everybody, we're taking a detour. No, we're going to Vegetable Village now. Alright, it's time to stop the train. Breaky, hang on up there. Oh, this is looking ominous. How did we end up in a rainforest all of a sudden? Perfect stop! Right in front of the village. So, this is definitely a village, alright. Or something like it. Oh, hey, Gas. Oh, so this train really does run on ethanol. Yeah, corn gas. Wheat vapors. I don't think it comes from that many things, but yeah. Not really. You kind of find it where you usually find regular gas. 
And actually around here, I can't even find any stations with ethanol. They don't even have those funky plugs that you plug in electric cars. That's probably why we don't see electric cars around here. So we gotta find some vegetable fuel in the vegetable village. That should be pretty easy. Well, we also have to, uh, you know, fix the leak and all that, too. Bariki, <laughs> analyze. And you're a mechanical person. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Let me know if you see any hoof marks on the gas tank. All right, gas. Gas is telling us about the fuel again. Because that's all he does. That's his only job. Uh, Lion, you doing okay in there? No, Lion's not doing okay in there. Yeah, the humidity's probably not helping his car sickness. Or his train sickness. Uh, you don't have anything to add to this. Yes, plants are indeed the fuel! You're learning science today! So, welcome to Vegetable Village. I wonder if they're selling any fuel here. Oh, we could plant fruits. That's halfway there. Best plant rental in the village. Well, that sounds promising. Next time on Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, we need gas. Good night, folks.